Hey, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Katie and today I'm going to show how I made a rainbow high doll into a miniature me, mini version of myself. Uh, I started with Victoria. So she has long been one of my favorite dolls. However, the freckles and the pale skin just make her perfect to be me, honestly. I think she's a little bit maybe of a warmer skin tone than I am because I am like the coolest of the coolest skin tones. My undertone is basically lavender. She has like bluish eyes and I have kind of a greenish grayish hazel eye, but I don't like changing their eyes. Putting them in is a nightmare. So I figured it was close enough. It's not like they're purple or anything. Okay, so keep watching and we'll show the customization. So with just the dye and dish soap, this is pretty reddish purple. So based on her current hair color, it's likely I'm going to have to do some color correction after this dye. Just waiting for the water to boil and then I'll pour it in here. Well, the water is close to boiling, which I mean, that's actually what they want you. Open the lid. Oh, yeah. I need enough water that I can move her hair around and smoosh it in. So here we find out. This is going to be a little bit of non color, isn't it? Also, I could only find the brown in the dye more, which is not ideal, as the people say that it will dye the doll's skin. So that's why she's taped up like this. I also added a little bit of Vaseline to any bits that seemed like they were sticking out after the tape. Yeah, it's still pretty red. I'm afraid to add a little bit of black, but that might be what's necessary to get it dark enough. So it's not bad. It's It could be darker and it's way more red than mine. So I'm... I don't have green, so I'm going to add a little bit of teal and see how this goes. Risky, risky. Okay, so I added the tiniest little bit of a capful. Yeah, even if you look at it's leaving purple. I don't know towel is, so red though. So that's why I really need green. I don't have any green. I took a picture to kind of get an idea of my hair versus the doll's hair when it's wet. And... I mean, it's still super red, so I added a little bit more. Is it teal or turquoise? Teal, tropical teal. <laughs> and we will see if it helps. Otherwise, I might have to just dry her up, see how it looks, and get a green or some kind of a, something similar in order to tone it so that it's not so red. But super red. Also, it's not dying the vinyl at all. It's dyeing the tape. So we'll see. Maybe certain colors in the dye more are more likely to do it because both the teal and the brown are the dye more. I keep just leaving her in there to try to get the roots because I always find the roots don't dye quite as strongly because you know the ends are in way more often and way longer. So here it is while it's still wet. I'm gonna take all this stuff off her, see if it's stained at all, and dry this off. And you can see that it did start dyeing the skin, the vinyl, just a little bit. So yeah, I definitely wouldn't want to have like a rim of that around. There's one spot where it's just the faintest bit, but like I would never notice it. However, I'm not sure if the tape actually helped much because it looked like there was dyeing on both sides of the tape, not just on the outside. Hard to say though. This is what I'm going to go with the first time. It's barely even to the top of that first spiral. There's not much there. And then 
some dye or <laughs> some soap and then I'm just waiting for the water to finish getting ready. Okay, so I got her hair wet, which definitely, you know, darkens the color, makes it harder to tell what's happening, but it has to happen. And now the water's so blue, which is an odd thing. <laughs> but it's green, why is it so blue? It's like olive green. I promise. <laughs> green. Pretty red, I might need a little more green to give it a real test. I'm gonna rinse it and find out. Okay, she's definitely looking less red, so I'm gonna dry the hair and see what it looks like. See if it's dark enough, if it's just close to the right tone, what else I'm gonna need to do. So we are actually getting pretty close. Her hair is not red anymore, which is great. It's just still a little bit light. Okay, so this time we are doing black because it's really close, but it's still too light and I'm so scared. I'm going to use the tiniest amount possible and hope for the best. Okay, I have the water and actually I didn't get her hair wet again. So this is what it looks like before. Ooh, don't get, don't get in there. Okay, I'm going to get it wet. Okay, we're gonna do a quick dip and see how it goes. back and make sure it did. So it does look a little darker, but I'm gonna do one more swoosh and then I'm gonna dry it because I don't wanna risk getting too dark because there's nothing I can do at that point. Okay, so I'm gonna rinse her out and then dry her again. So she's finally dry and she's still a little light. So I'm gonna run her through the black again. This is the same dye bath, so it's not actually still pretty hot. I'm surprised by that. I'm just gonna leave her in for a little bit this time because it didn't, it definitely darkened it but not very much and my hair is quite dark. It, it's just like a weird kind of ashy and I've got some like white hairs in it so ooh, look at that face. Look at it stretched out and funny. So we'll see how this goes. I tied her hair to her feet and now she's spending some time with just the roots in the water because my hair does lighten up toward the end and hers is definitely getting darker at the ends than the roots. So this will either even her out or darken it slightly. So we'll see. So now it is time to, dye, time to dry again. I don't know if it's dark enough. It's, as it's wet, it's slightly darker than my hair, but it definitely lightens up quite a bit when it dries. And as annoying as the dye dry cycle is, I would much rather do it gradually than make her too dark. To make the face a little bit unique from a normal Victoria, I used my Derwent Inktense uh, watercolor pencils to darken her eyebrows and her lips. I did also add a little bit of a pinkish color to tint the eyeshadow. The eyebrows are still definitely on the reddish side. I could have <laughs> wiped them completely off and probably had a better outcome, especially because one of them is a little bit lower than the other. However, I was really afraid to do that. <laughs> like, I was just scared I was gonna mess it up if I completely erased them. Maybe once I have more experience doing face-ups, I might redo them. Plus with all the freckles, I didn't really want to accidentally erase her freckles with the eyebrows. 
And I did use Mr. Super Clear to prep and seal her face. And this is the first time I noticed as I was coloring her lips that her lip print is a little bit off from the like molding, like the mouth corners are a little bit off from the mold. When I did these curls, I tried to add more hair to each one and that did cause some problems keeping the straws on. I used these rubber bands from my daughter's hair stuff. They definitely broke from the heat and the cold, but they stayed on long enough to set it. Not exactly sure how to replicate my natural curl, but we'll see how this goes. It is super curly. <laughs> so we shall see. These are so tight. <laughs> I guess I should have wound them looser. And here is my Katie doll. So her hair has been, I, I actually curled her hair like a week ago and it has not dropped at all. So every once in a while I just kind of come through here and like finger comb it out a little bit, hoping that it'll drop because my hair is definitely not that curly. At least it's like super flat. Um, I am getting it cut later this month, so maybe it'll curl up a little bit better, but then it'll still be way shorter. Um, I did end up you know, I trimmed her hair at one point, but that really had nothing to do with the fact that her hair is so much longer because dolls just have long hair. And so, because I don't have like definitively short, like structured cut, I didn't really care. But I'm really happy with her. I really, I really like it. So I guess you can take the glasses off to kind of show. I feel like I got a little bit close to what I look like, maybe. She does need glasses and I haven't gotten her her own yet. The before and after. So I did buy a new doll fits because I already had one and I didn't want to not have a Victoria. Yeah, let me know what you think. How close did I get? Uh, what else should I have done to make it more of a me? What do you think I can still do to make her more like me? Also, I don't know if it's doing it right now but I have like a wandering eye. It's not necessarily a lazy eye because it's not always over, but I guess I could have swapped her eyes out and let one of them be wild. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Have a great day. Thanks.